الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب أن في الله as I've been saying over the past couple of years that as a Muslim community we have got to begin to speak out against these wicked acts of terror and this is not a compromise but this is in fact from da'wah ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have to bring the truth to the people and we have to show the people because who in their right mind would want to join a religion they don't understand if it was a religion that propagates violence and terror no one would want to do that I know that before I became Muslim I would not have joined and become a Muslim if I thought it was in the way that evil groups like ISIS and Al-Shabaab and other demons how they try to perpetrate and distort Islam and this is imperative that our leaders begin to educate our youth so that the youth don't sit and remain misguided and are left prey to fall prey to those people who distort Islam. Those people whose origins come from early sects of desires. Early sects like the Khawarij, yes the Khawarij, those people who made takfir of their Muslim brothers and sisters for the sins that they did or what they perceive to be sins. Those people who have the characteristic of jahil, those people who have characteristics of attacking the Muslim rulers and disobeying them and rebelling against them. Those are some of the characteristics of the Khawarij. And likewise, you'll find from the jahil or the ignorance amongst the Muslim youth from around the world that although they might not fall under a particular Muslim authority, they have those attributes of ignorance and they have those attributes of acting upon that ignorance and acting out that ignorance instead of gaining the, what true Islam is. And they have that characteristic of allowing their passions to rule their actions instead of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who was sent as a mercy for mankind. He was sent as a mercy for mankind and he sent as a Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to bring the people from Dhulamat ila Nur, from darkness to light. So be that source of light, but you cannot be light if you are not guided yourself. And you cannot be light if you do not gain ilm. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Talab al-ilm faridatun ala kulli Muslim wa Muslima. That seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim male and Muslim female. So we have to begin to take this seriously before others make us take it seriously. Because as we see, as what is happening in the West and with the new president for us in America, the attacks have increased upon Muslim communities. And the tax will increase upon Muslim communities without doubt, no matter what he says, even if he claims that he's not a part of that. The tax will, can, it has, his election has emboldened the racists and the extremists. So Muslims have to be prepared. Muslims have to prepare themselves with correct Islamic knowledge. Muslims have to prepare themselves by learning how to defend themselves. We have to teach our women how to defend themselves, to defend themselves when someone tries to take her hijab off. And we have to exercise our right. For those who know what I mean by exercising their right, as some of us exercise our rights that we have the right to do in America. And so I ask Allah the Almighty to protect the Muslims everywhere and to teach and raise up the Muslims everywhere and forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.